Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine with another unboxing video. And this time it's Motorhead and the Lost Tapes Live Volumes 1 to 5. So let's have a quick look inside the box and I'll tell you all about it. This is Motorhead, the collections, volumes one to five. Listen to Motorhead live and loud. This eight CD box set collecting volumes one to five and the lost tapes featuring live in Madrid. The Sacrifice Tour live in Norwich. No Speak with Fort Tongue Tour live in Malmo. We are Motorhead Tour live in Alberoni. The Christmas Metal Meeting 1984 and live at Donington Download Festival 2008. Comes a little sticker as well. And there's a little sticker as well, Motorhead, The Lost Tapes. So it's a nice sturdy box with, a, with the name of the gigs on the back. And each gig um, is in a gatefold sleeve. Some are obviously double CDs, depending on how long the band had got on the tour. But all the tracks and a few photographs. And this is a single CD one, this is Donington. So this is about an hour long. In live in Hell Brown is a double CD. No, it's not a single CD. You can see there, 19 tracks. And this one is live in Madrid. This is a double CD. As you can see there, this is one with Silver Machine on, which I'll talk about in a bit. And live in Malmo from 2000. This is also a two disc set. So that is the Lost Tapes by Motorhead Collections, Volumes 1. To five and I'll tell you what I think about the set. So that is Motorhead, The Lost Tapes, volumes one to five, out on BMG Records, as you've just seen. Some are double, some are single, all little gatefold sleeves in a nice little box. Um, so what are my thoughts about it? I better just have them with me. Um, it's Motorhead. Oh, and you know, don't you, those of you who are regulars to my channel know that I don't do bootlegs. I can't cope with bootleg sound. I, it doesn't matter who it is, even if it's my favourite bands, I can't do bootlegs. So are these bootlegs? No. Um, they're obviously recordings that Lemmy used to record nearly everything they did, and then they go back and listen to it, um, you know, to see how they could improve things, etc. A lot of bands did this, so they're kind of like line recording straight out the desk. Some are kind of higher quality than others, but not one of them is is what I would class as a bootleg at all. Not at all. Live at Norwich is probably the closest to the distant recording in that the the mix is probably not optimal. But my ears are acclimatised by the time we got to know Class, which is track two. And there's some great stuff on there. There really is. The high end of the quality audio and the excitement, I have to say the excitement on all of these is is 10 but one of the key ones is live at Donington from 2008. This is just incredible. It's an amazing performance. And um, I have a few Lemmy stories. Those of you who are patrons and YouTube members may have already seen them as I've done a couple of videos on my encounters with Lemmy um, during my time as a as a aspiring rock musician. Um, but I'll keep this on, focused on this rec on this review. Opens with Dr. Rock, um, just because you've got the power is another highlight track, um, you know, going to Brazil, you know, stay clean. It it just captures, there's something about, let's say it captures, it captures the excitement of Motorhead. But there's something about um, Lemmy, it just, just brings a smile to my face. This is just so... Um, I'm just trying to think it's a bit difficult now because um, in a way as I've said this many times we're the kind of generation that scares our children now so so it's very difficult if we put this on our children will probably say what the hell is that dad um, whereas I, I can go back and remember playing Motorhead and my dad thinking you know his son really needed some serious professional help um, this is like full on Noise. This is guitars, bass, drums. Everything is just, you know, the way that Lemmy sings, the delivery, the songs. Everything is just rock and roll. As Lemmy says, what kind of music is this? It's rock and roll music. Um, that is a highlight. Another highlight is um, Live in Madrid. I like this one because um, Lemmy obviously is trying to use some of the lingo to get himself across. and But this is also just wild. 
um, We Are Motorhead and We Play Rock and Roll. Um, Ace of Spades, they open with. They open with Ace of Spades. Why not? Um, and it's just, it's, from that point on, it's just boom, one track after the other. But it also includes, um, on disc two, a version of Silver Machine, perhaps like Silver Machine always wanted to sound. Silver Machine here sounds like just another Motorhead song. And when I say just another Motorhead, it's just high energy, the guitars. Just, and you have to, I had to look at the, I had to look at the credits to remind myself that there were only three people on this. That it really is Lemmy on bass, Phil Campbell on guitar, and Mickey D on drums. There's just three people on this because it sounds like a it sounds like there's loads of them um it really doesn't sound like one guitar and um i mean lemmy's bass never sounded like like a little bass guitar did it but it sounds massive and you realize as it goes from there into iron fist and we're going to overkill um just how intense motel was i absolutely love this um live in hell brown of it's great it's a single disc that sounds really good as well and live in malmo is also that's a double and it's absolutely superb i, I don't know there's so many there's so many highlights to to dip into and the track listing is not the same i know some people go all oh, the motorhead never really deviated from the track list that they knew everyone wanted to hear i would disagree with that every one of these every one of these discs has got a different set list obviously some are there because they're going to be there aren't they but there are quite a few tracks on here that only exist on each particular um, each particular concert based on the album they were promoting at the time and to me if you're a motorhead fan this is essential um if you haven't if you're starting out could you start here um you probably could, although I'd probably say do live at Hammersmith first if you wanted to do Motorhead live. Um, but if you wanted an overview, this is probably um, live at Madrid and Donington. This is the way to hear Motorhead live like this, raw, in your face, because you realise when you look across the rock and roll landscape of what we now find ourselves in, there ain't nothing like them. There is nothing like Lemmy and the boys. There really isn't. And I will share my motorhead stories and memories with my encounters with Lemmy soon. But thank you very much for watching. That is out now. The Lost Tapes Motorhead Volumes 1 to 5. Great little box set from BMG. Take care, everybody. Make sure you subscribe. Tell the world. Share everything that you find with Now Spinning Magazine on it. And take care. And I shall see you all very, very soon.